Hi, y'all. I'm back. It is day four. It is time for us to get back into our literature, 28 Days of Black History. I'm so happy to have you still here with me. That means that you are enjoying what I am giving to you, and I love that so much. If you haven't already, don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe. Also, don't forget to check out my daily shorts. I am doing 28 Days of Black History and Music as well, listing my five songs by different Black artists, groups, duos, etc. Nonetheless, let's go on and get ahead and get started for day four. All right, y'all. So I have been highlighting the women. It is time for us to shed some light on a male great Black lit artist. And that person is going to be none other than the late, great Eric Jerome Dickey. Yes. Y'all, this book right here, my favorite book by him. I just, The Other Woman is a classic. I know that people love other books like um, Milk and My Coffee, which is another great one. But this one just always does something to me. And when you think of Black fiction, urban fiction. You can't think of it without Eric Jerome Dickey. In my honest opinion, he's one of the pioneers of Black literature. Like I was reading him whenever I was in college. I was actually introduced to him by another teacher whenever I was student teaching. And I'm so grateful that she introduced me to him because, oh my gosh, what a pillar in our black literature community for us to be able to have. I remember reading Chasing Destiny and so many of his other books because he's just that guy. So um, before he passed, I know he had the book, um, Mr. Suleiman. I don't remember the entire name, but yes, he has some incredible books, but the other woman is special. It's just, it's special. The writing, you just trying to figure out what's happening. And then you get towards the end. Ugh, chef's kiss, amazing. So when we talk about Black literature and honoring our greats, you can't do that without talking about Eric Jerome Dickey. He is that guy. Him. Him. Definitely him. So let me know if you have read Eric Jerome Dickey. What is or are your favorite books by him? Let me know in the comments, share. It's so important that we just really uplift what he has given to us and to continue to carry on his legacy. Thank you so much for joining me today for J4. We will be continuing on tomorrow. Can't wait for you to join and see what I have in store for you. Don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe. But until then, bye-bye.